Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and I am here today with set number 70816, Benny's Spaceship Spaceship Spaceship! And this is a Lego Movie set from 2014. It is ages 9 to 14, has 940 pieces, includes 4 figures, 1 Unikitty, and 2 robots. I don't know if you count the... The Unikitty as a minifigure, or even the robots as a minifigure, but I thought I'd clarify that. This set originally retailed for the price of $99.99 in the United States. It has since then dropped down in price in local retail stores, which is useful since this is an amazing set. So, we'll try to turn down the speed on my turntable and take a closer look. So here we get a closer look at some of the details in this set. It's a very fine spaceship. It's very well done in all the colors, all the different elements that are used. I really like all the effort that's put into this model. It was a really good build. It takes seven numbered bags and approximately two to three hours of actual building uh, in order to assemble the model. But it's a very worthwhile build. It's got a lot of unique features. Unfortunately, this cockpit has that kind of frustrating piece in the front you can fit three minifigures in the front you can fit them in either combinations of, uh, of seating and there is actually a nice trans yellow piece for it unikitty fits in her own space towards the back kind of the middle section if you may and we also have a satellite that opens up in the far back where we have our two robot figures they sit in there on their own jumper tiles and they fit pretty nicely. So let's take a closer look at some of the features and even in-depth, like, just a nice overall look at it from the top. You can see there's a lot of stickers in here. Some of those pieces in the cockpit were also stickers. Uh, very few printed pieces in here, so you do have to be careful when applying all the stickers, uh, applying them correctly onto the, each of the pieces. But really nice shaping to most of this model. I really like how this was designed. And it even is reminiscent of the classic space. You have a latch in the big in the middle area where you can fit two minifigures inside. You even have a little reactor in there, perhaps a power source. Um, so you could have extra storage for minifigures if you had the space for it. But you do have a few limits in here. There are some minifigures that can't completely fit in here because of their backpack accessories, such as Emmett. But well, Wild Style fits in pretty well, but as you can see, Benny has a little bit of trouble, and even Emmett has a little bit of trouble because of that piece towards the back of his seat. So, and there's also a little bit of a height restraint between the figures. If you position them right, you might be able to fit them in here and have the full thing close. But if they do lean back a little bit, as you can see on the screen, they do kind of hit in between and might be a little hard to close. But overall, it is a nice little section to add some extra uh, play features for the spaceship. We also have some more play features. On the back, you have this really neat function. If you push in one of the bottom engines, you get the wings to fold out more. It gives you more access to some of the projectiles in the set. So we have two spring-loaded launchers on either side. And they do a very nice job. I think they're well positioned. And just the way that this whole section is made is really new to me. We also have them in a yellow tip, which is nice for the color scheme. Now looking at it from the side, we also have some little spaceships that can be dropped off. Um, you can fit these on either side. They are the same build on both sides. So you could have them change around. Most of the minifigures in this set can fit on here, unlike the section from before i know that fell off for the piece of resistance but it actually does fit on there and it also has a sticker on the front for the crosshair the wings also fold in several ways so you could have it um, very playable it's easy to swoosh around and even have it playing with the other model that we get in the set you could even fit multiple figures with these little vehicles now looking from the front we also have more projectiles you can see two of the newer 2014 spring launchers and the classic flick fire missiles these are easy to use but i would have to say the flick fires are a little bit more difficult to work 
They're so close to the front, don't offer a lot of space to actually get them moving. Some of the wedge plates that are used towards the front make it hard for some of them to be pressed in fully, so that's why you can see they're still stuck in place. And they actually do fire far with all these projectiles in the set. Next, we'll take a look at the Octan spaceship. I'm not really sure if it had an exact name, but it is a small little spaceship. It's something you want to get multiples of if you want to recreate the scene from the Lego movie where the Benny spaceship uh, raids through these and goes to Bricksburg. But it is kind of unfortunate that you only get one per set. It is a nice little model, I will have to say. It's got some nice design to it. The minifigure fits in there pretty well. You can see it. It did have to, my, my bigger fingers do have to, you know, take off the helmet to get it in there. But you simply have a printed uh, slope in there for the controls. And one thing I'm very curious about, especially on the back of this model, is why it has a modified plate with a handle. It seems like something perhaps you could use for towing, but I'm not really sure exactly why it's put there. Unless it's some little extra detail that doesn't have to do with anything. Here we have our five minifigures for this set. The robot pilot, the Astro Kitty, the wild style in a space outfit, Robo Emmett, or just, you know, tinfoil over Emmett, and Benny. Now, this is the first release of Benny, and uh, since this, since, as of the recording of this video, he has been released in a few other sets as well. Um, these actually have some really nice designs to them, as you can see. Even on the back, you can see some alternate faces. Benny has the classic smiling grin, much like my Sig Fig, in fact. And I even have a little bit of back printing for the other figures, which is very nice to see. I think these are really well done, and it was definitely worth getting this for the figures. Here we have our two robots from before. Get a closer look at them. They are inter interesting uh, builds. And I think I remember seeing some pictures of like the retro robots kind of looking like this as well. So overall, Benny Spaceship, Spaceship, Spaceship is an excellent set. Like I said before, this has declined in price over time, so it is more affordable. It is definitely a fun building experience, and it has a lot of nice play features to keep the set going for quite a long time. I don't think I'm going to take this apart too soon in my collection. I'm definitely going to have it as a display piece. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out more Lego Movie Set Reviews on my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know about the turntable, if it works out well for this style. It's kind of a new concept right now, so I want to see if it needs improvement over time. We'll see you next time with more Lego videos.